How to find the change from $100. In today's lesson, we are going to learn how to calculate change from $100, if we give $100 to the shop cashier. Exercise 1. Catherine works at Noel. A customer bought a Christmas hamper that costs $78.98 and gave Catherine $100. How much change should Catherine give him? First, write the numbers to be subtracted. In this case, it is $100 minus $78.98. Make sure the decimal points of the two numbers are aligned as shown. Here, we realize that the 10 cents and 1 cent values of the $100 is zero and is not enough to subtract the 98 cents. Therefore, we need to borrow from the $100 by putting a slash. Now, we write 99 as the remaining dollar value and $1 is carried forward to the 10 cents position. Next, we need to borrow from the 10 cents position by putting a slash. Now, we write 9 as the remaining 10 cents value and 1 10 cent is carried forward to the cents position. Now, we can do the subtraction. 10 minus 8 is 2. 9 minus 9 is 0. 9 dollars minus 8 dollars is 1 dollar. Finally, 9 tens minus 7 tens equals 2 tens. The final answer is $21.02. Exercise 2. Dean is holding a farewell party for his colleague. He bought two pizzas and two bottles of sparkling grape juice for $57.30. He gave the cashier $100. How much change should he receive? First. Write the numbers to be subtracted. In this case, it is $100 minus $57.30. Make sure the decimal points of the two numbers are aligned as shown. Here, we realize that the 10 cents values of the $100 is zero, and is not enough to subtract the 30 cents. Therefore, we need to borrow from the $100 by putting a slash. Now. We write 99 as the remaining dollar value and $1 is carried forward to the 10 cents position. Now, we can do the subtraction. 0 minus 0 is 0. 10 minus 3 is 7. $9 minus $7 is $2. Finally, 9 tens minus 5 tens equals 4 tens. The final answer is $42.70. Exercise 3. Eileen went to Zo and bought materials for her classroom notice board. The materials cost $64 and she gave the cashier $100. How much change should she receive? First, write the numbers to be subtracted. In this case, it is $100 minus $64. Make sure the decimal points of the two numbers are aligned as shown. Here, we realize that the $1 value of the $100 is zero, and is not enough to subtract the $4. Therefore, we need to borrow from the $100 by putting a slash. Now. We write 9 as the remaining dollar value and one ten dollar is carried forward to the dollar position. Now, we can do the subtraction. 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. 10 dollars minus 4 dollars is 6 dollars. Finally, 9 tens minus 6 tens equals 3 tens. The final answer is $36.